Saturday Night Live, or SNL, is one of the most popular and longest-running sketch comedy shows on American television. Over the years, it has launched the careers of countless comedians and actors and become a cultural phenomenon. But like any organization, there are secrets and scandals that the cast would rather keep hidden. Let's start with drug abuse. The fast-paced, high-stress environment of working on SNL can take its toll on cast members, and some have turned to drugs as a way to cope. In the early days of the show, drug use was rampant, with many cast members using cocaine and other substances to stay awake and focused during the grueling production schedule. In fact, one former cast member, John Belushi, died from a drug overdose in 1982, just a few years after leaving the show. Belushi's death was a wake-up call for the show, and in the years that followed, the producers made an effort to crack down on drug use among the cast. However, some cast members still struggled with addiction, and their struggles were often kept hidden from the public. For example, in the early 2000s, comedian and cast member Jimmy Fallon struggled with alcohol and drug addiction, which he later said was partly due to the pressure of working on SNL. Fallon eventually got help and overcame his addiction, but not before it had a major impact on his life and career. Another former cast member, Chris Farley, also struggled with addiction and died of a drug overdose in 1997. Farley's death was a shock to the show's fans and cast members alike, and it led to increased efforts to address addiction and mental health issues among the cast. Despite these efforts, some cast members continued to struggle with addiction, including Tracy Morgan, who was involved in a serious car accident in 2014 while under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Morgan has since spoken out about his struggles with addiction and the toll it took on his life and career. One of the defining characteristics of SNL is its political satire and commentary. Over the years, the show has tackled a wide range of political controversies, often with hilarious results. However, this has also led to its fair share of controversies. One of the most notable examples of political controversy on SNL was in 1992, when the show aired a skit that featured then-presidential candidate Ross Perot as a character played by Dana Carvey. Perot's team was reportedly not happy with the way he was portrayed and accused the show of bias. This led to a temporary ban on Carvey from appearing on the show. More recently, SNL has been criticized for its portrayal of Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders. Some viewers have accused the show of bias against Sanders and for favoring other candidates such as Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden. This has led to heated debates online and in the media, with some arguing that SNL has a responsibility to be impartial in its political satire. Saturday Night Live has also had its fair share of controversies surrounding hosting decisions. The most recent controversy came when the show announced that Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, would be hosting the show on May 8, 2021. Some cast members were not pleased with the decision, taking to social media to express their concerns. Cast member Bowen Yang posted an Instagram story with a caption that read, What the F does this even mean? in response to Musk's tweet about hosting the show. Another cast member, Andrew Dismuke, shared a photo of former SNL cast member Sherry O'Terry with the caption, only CEO I want to do a sketch with is Cher E or Terry. This is not the first time SNL has faced controversy over its host choices. In 2015, the show announced that Donald Trump would be hosting, which sparked outrage from Hispanic groups. Trump had made comments about Mexican immigrants being criminals and rapists, and many felt that his appearance on the show was in poor taste. Protesters gathered outside Rockefeller Center, and a Latino group even offered a $5,000 bounty to anyone willing to disrupt the show. Another controversial host was Andrew Dice Clay, who hosted the show in 1990. Clay was known for his sexist jokes and vulgar nursery rhyme parodies. Cast member Nora Dunn refused to perform on the show with Clay, leading SNL executive producer Lorne Michaels to appear on Nightline to defend the decision to have him as a host. Another political controversy that erupted around Saturday Night Live was the firing of comedian Shane Gillis. In September 2019, just days before being announced as a new cast member for the upcoming season, Gillis was fired by the show after past remarks he made on a podcast resurfaced. The remarks in question included derogatory and offensive comments about Chinese people and used racial slurs. Gillis initially tried to defend himself by saying he was a comedian who pushes boundaries and that the comments were taken out of context. However, many people saw his remarks as racist and unacceptable and the backlash was swift. In a statement announcing Gillis's firing, SNL said, we were not aware of his prior remarks that have surfaced over the past few days. The language he used is offensive, hurtful, and unacceptable. We are sorry that we did not see these clips earlier and that our vetting process was not up to our standard. The decision to fire Gillis was met with mixed reactions. Some praised the show for taking a stand against racism and bigotry, while others criticized it for caving to cancel culture and stifling free speech. 
Some also pointed out that the show has a history of controversial cast members and hosts and questioned why Gillis was singled out for punishment. While SNL is known for pushing boundaries and tackling controversial topics, it has also had its fair share of controversy when it comes to sexual misconduct. In the wake of the Me Too movement, several former cast members and writers have been accused of sexual harassment or assault, sparking a conversation about the culture of sexual harassment in the entertainment industry. One of the most prominent cases involved comedian and former writer Al Franken. In 2017, radio host Leanne Tweeden accused Franken of forcibly kissing her and groping her while she was asleep during a USO tour in 2006. Franken initially apologized for his behavior, but later resigned from his position as a senator following pressure from his colleagues. In addition to Franken, other former cast members and writers have also been accused of sexual misconduct, including T.J. Miller, who was accused of sexual assault and harassment by a former college classmate, and David Spade, who was accused of sexual harassment by former assistant Sarah Tyler Kaplan. While SNL is known for its comedic skits and witty humor, there have been many instances where the cast members have not seen eye to eye. Cast feuds have been a recurring issue on the show, with tensions often bubbling beneath the surface. One of the most well-known cast feuds was between Chevy Chase and Bill Murray. The two comedians reportedly had a falling out while filming the movie Caddyshack in 1980, and their feud continued when Murray joined the cast of SNL the following year. The two reportedly had a physical altercation during one episode, with Chase throwing a punch at Murray backstage. Another cast feud occurred between Norm MacDonald and Don Ohlmeyer, the president of NBC's West Coast Division. McDonald was the anchor of Weekend Update at the time and made several jokes about Olmeyer's friend, O.J. Simpson, who was on trial for murder at the time. Olmeyer was not amused and reportedly had McDonald fired from the show. In more recent years, there have been reports of tension between cast members Kate McKinnon and Leslie Jones. McKinnon is known for her versatility and has won several awards for her work on SNL, while Jones is known for her outspoken and unapologetic humor. Some reports suggest that the two have had disagreements over creative differences and that Jones has felt overlooked at times. As SNL continues to evolve and reflect the changing cultural and political landscape, we can expect that there will be more controversies in the future.